it's starting to 20 crochet. Today I have for you a little bit different video. I'm going to talk about my uh, crochet library, reference library. So these are the books and whatnot that I have in my, cro my crochet library that I thought you might be interested in taking a look at and I will also have links to these books um, in the description box below if you are interested in maybe picking up some of these books to have in your crochet library. So before I jump into the books that I have, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, that little icon right down there in the corner, that will automatically subscribe you to my channel. And don't forget to ring the bell, that's also down there in the corner, that'll let you know whenever I upload a new video. And if you like content like this, please give me a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you like my videos. So one of the first books that I ever got was a stitch book. And this was a really old book. This is called 101 Crochet Stitches with International Crochet Symbols. And this is the book right here. I got this book way back in the 90s. Um, it's a really nice book. It has the words and the, it's falling apart, that's how old it is. It has words and it has the uh, symbols and it has these black and white um, pictures. Um, this, there are a lot nicer crochet dictionaries out there um, today, but I wanted to show you this book. Like I said, this book is actually still available today. Um, but it's an older book, so if you do have some trouble reading patterns, this one, it does have the stitch charts, but they're small. But it is a good one still. It doesn't have, like, what the name of the stitch is. It is just numbered. Um, this book will run on Amazon. Let's see, this one, I got my laptop right over there, is $14.80. Another good stitch uh, library. I'll just get out my stitch, just my stitch dictionaries first. This is another one that I got. This is called Indispensable Stitch Collection for Crocheters. This has a hundred um, stitches in it. This is another good book. This one has, um, let's see, I don't know if this one has the little, the little uh, thumbnails or not. Let's see. No, this one just has some of the big pictures. It has a nice big picture of the swatch. It does have the the uh, written part, and it also has the chart. It has a small chart. I like this one because it it's broken down in like shells, and then it has the it also has color work in the back as well. And it's the repeat is highlighted, so that is makes it really nice. And there are some edgings as well in this book. Um, again, these doesn't these ones don't. Um, some of these have words. The edgings don't necessarily aren't necessarily um, don't necessarily have words. You know, like a, a name to them. It's just edging. 12, edging 1, edging 2. It doesn't necessarily have a, a list to what it is. In the back it does have the how to, how to read a crochet chart and some tips to what the symbols are and stuff and some simple uh, drawings and illustrations of stitches. Um, it does have an index so if you are looking for a particular stitch you can look it up that way as well. So I do like this book because of that. And this book on Amazon runs $15.88. And let's set that down there. And then I have the Crochet Stitch Dictionary. Again, 200 stitches in this one. Now, some of the stitches will repeat in some of the in these um, stitch dictionaries, but that's okay because some of them write them a little bit differently. So if you are confused on one a pattern um, stitch dictionary you can look it up in another one and it might be a little bit easier to understand this one has the little thumbnails 
So if you like to look it up quickly that way, which I usually don't find the thumbnails to be very helpful. Um, there is some other uh, care instructions and like hook, hook sizes. There's a little information about yarn, um, about holding your hooks and stuff like that in here. So there is some different information about working in rows, turning, fastening off. So joining yarn, so other information in the dictionary as well. So, I mean, it, it could be useful for someone who is just learning how to crochet. So this would be a nice gift to give someone who is just learning how to crochet. And again, there are some large pictures in there with crochet charts at the bottom as well. And actual physical pictures of doing the stitches as well, which is pretty nice. Because that gives you a good, really good uh, visual on how to do the stitches. And these have stitch names to them too, like the petal stitch, hexagon stitch, large clusters, alternating double clusters, things like that. And they have, like I said, they have the full chart up here, and then they would also have like the smaller breakdowns in chart form. So if you're a chart reader, this book is really good as well. It does have color work in it. So I think that is really nice. Um, I don't know if this one has edgings. It has, this one has beadwork. So if you're looking for, to learn how to do beadwork, this book has beadwork in it. So it does have some nice, it does have an index in the back, which is, can be very helpful if you're just looking for how to do something and you know what the, the uh, name of the stitch is that you're looking for. It does have a guide for the, the symbols. So again, this could be uh, very useful to someone who's just learning, but it also is very useful some, to people who are more experienced. Um, if you're just starting to get into like writing your own patterns, these are phenomenal. They really help you out a lot. And some of the other books that I have in my um, reference library, these are some of the ones that are, are a little bit more different. Um, here is one of my, this is a border book. This is just borders. This is a book by Edie Ekman. It's called Every Which Way Crochet Borders. There's 139 patterns for custom borders in this book. And she goes through with this um, and talks about all different kinds of borders in this book and gives you the, the written pattern and the the stitch chart and she gives you notes on them and in the beginning of the book when you when you first read this she talks about how about colors and how colors make the difference in the in the um in it about yarn how different yarns will make the difference in your in your border and also in your actual pattern itself the functions of the border um, very lots of lots and lots of information in this and the concepts of the border just loads of information on on it and also how to calculate um the number of stitches that you would need so if you have to put a foundation row on before you put your border on so you know how many stitches that you would need and the power of swatching so yes very lots of information in this book and there she does have another border book too that's out which I am planning to get someday too because I really like how Edie um, packs her books full of information. And speaking of which here is another book by Edie Ekman. This is Crochet Beyond the Square Crochet Motifs. So this book is chock full of information about circles, hexagon, triangles, squares, and other unexpected shapes. And she just has a lot of different information in here about also about uh, how to join them and making different types of shapes, different color combinations. And then, of course, there are patterns in the book. And she gives you the chart and the written instructions as well. 
So lots and lots of information. There's hexagons, there's triangles, there's squares, there's circles. Um, there's different, all different types of shapes in this book. Great book. And here is another book that I really like. This is Crochet Every Which Way Stitch Dictionary. This one gives you the different stitches, but it also shows you how to increase and decrease the pattern as well. So if you are looking to, let's say, make a sweater or to make something that you need to make it larger or smaller, this book will show you how you can decrease and increase that stitch pattern because regular stitch books just show you how to make a square swatch. This book shows you how to make different shapes so you can decrease or increase it and you can make that take that pretty swatch that you like that pattern and it'll show you how to like make that into a triangle shawl because you can know how to increase and decrease it to make that shape. So this book gives you lots of good information on how to do that. Oh, I forgot to tell you the prices. Let's go back here. Um, I believe this, the Crochet Stitch Dictionary, this one. This book it runs $17.99. Beyond the crochet, beyond the square crochet motifs, this one runs fifteen eighty eight. All this information will also be in the description box below. Every which way crochet borders, um, let's see, runs every which way stitch uh, borders, 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 fifteen ninety nine. And then Every Which Way Crochet Stitch Dictionary. This one's a little more pricey. This one is $21.99. And this one, this one is my absolute favorite book. This is the Ultimate Granny Square Source Book. You have a hundred granny squares in this book. This book, it also talks about decreases, positioning of your stitches. It gives you basic, it gives you information on your basic stitches, hooks, yarn, matching how to match your squares, um, edgings, embellishes, all of that. It gives you all kinds of information on making granny squares, on joining techniques, and it gives you patterns, lots of patterns. Each one of these patterns either have a, uh, they have two different set numbers of stitches. So m all these squares can be put together to make, um, you can mix and match the squares to make blankets or bags or anything that you want to make with granny squares. You just have to make sure that your stitch counts are the same and that you're using the same um, type of yarn. You just have to swatch, swatch, swatch to make sure that your gauge is the same. So one square you might have to make a swatch, make that square, and then match it up with the one that you want to make it and make sure that the gauge matches up so that your squares are the same size with the same number, they'll have the same number of stitches, but if you're using different yarn or if you're using a different hook size, you just want to make sure that they are matched up so that you can join them together. So this is a great resource book too as well. And this book is running $18.99 on Amazon. Again, all that will be in the description box below. And my one last book, I'm it's coming um, in Amazon in the actual physical book form, but I do have it in digital form, so I can show you that. And that would be the Crochet Answer Book. Oh, where did it go? It just went down on me. Uh, where is it? It's not in that one. Oh, sorry about that. It's in my Kindle app, I believe. There it is. So this is the Crochet Answer Book. And this is also by Edie Ekman. I'm getting a physical book for this too because I think it's, I would like to be able to take it with me a little bit. I think it would be a little bit easier to take it with you. Let's see if I can get the ta find the table of contents for this book. This is why I want a, a physical book. So you have all about hooks, 
filling your tool bag, yarn, yarn facts, yarn substitutions, working with yarn, challenges with yarns, beginnings and ends, basic stitches, placing your hook, turning chains, specialty stitches, gauge, why gauge matters, beginnings, endings, creating flat shapes, problems with flat shapes, um, granny squares, tubular shapes, searching for the perfect fabric, working with color, anatomy of pattern, size matters, pattern talk, finding and using patterns, analyzing your swatch, um, crochet borders, buttons and buttonholes, uh, blocking, uh, care, uh, caring of uh, care for your crochet f uh, project afterwards, um, standards and abbreviation, common terms and phrases, how to standard body measurements, um, shoe size, head size, or hat size, care symbols, just like if you're looking to know whether or not you can uh, wash your, your yarn, you know, what the, those care symbols are on your, on your yarn. Uh, metric conversion charts. I mean, just about anything you, need to, you would need to know about crochet, you can almost find the answer in this book. So this is a really great resource book. Um, it's a small, compact book, so you can just stick it in your project bag, too, which is why I want to get the physical book. So, But I do have the digital form as well. So that is my crochet li uh, resource library. I do have like some more books and stuff in my Amazon cart that I eventually want to get as well. And... What I would suggest if you are just starting out get building your library, I would suggest that um, you get at least a stitch dictionary. Um, pick, go through um, and pick which one you think would be good for you. I think this is a really good one to start with because it has the pictures and it also has the pictures on how to actually do the stitches too. So if you're new to working with a stitch dictionary, this would be a really good one to start with. And if you're looking for something for borders, this one is a, uh, this Every Which Way uh, Crochet Borders is a great book to have. Um, my second pick for a stitch dictionary would be um, the Indispensable Stitch Collection. This would be my next pick. And if you're, again, if you're looking for something, if you already know a lot, if you already have a stitch dictionary and you're looking for something to show, to help you with increases and decreases in your stitch patterns, great book right here is the Crochet Every Which Way Stitch Dictionary. And of course, everybody want, what needs some type of a granny, a granny square book. And this is like the best granny square source book. So there you have it. And like I said, this can be overwhelming to buy all these books at once. So what I, you know, I didn't buy them all at once. I bought them like one, one or that, one or two here and there. So, you know, don't feel like you have to buy all these books at once to, to be able to crochet. Um, start with one book. You know, there's also a lot of free sources online like Raverly. Um, you can get a lot of free patterns on Raverly. You can get a, free patterns on Lovecrafts. Um, there are lots of other sources online. There's YouTube. You get lots of free patterns on YouTube as well and lots of tutorials. So that is my crochet resource. Um, another good resource too is the American Crochet Association. They have, uh, you can build your basic skills with them and they have an entire 12-step uh, learning course which is phenomenal and they also offer other courses um, with like uh, building your crochet career and they have crochet alongs and they have like lots of different um, courses on the American Crochet Association. So you want to check th them out too. They are wonderful. So again, I will put all the information that I've talked about with these books and the different resources in the description box below. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.